and she also has that super light, beautiful belly on her. Look at how precious this is. Look how tiny this little man is. Hey, man, that's not fun. I'm not going to mess with her too much because she is very, very delicate. A super anaconda albino. Look at that. He's so funny. Got some real cool stuff going on today so finally dude everybody keeps asking about these hognose snakes i have you have not seen all of them i want to show you guys all of them you know they're cool i love my hognose snakes they're so freaking awesome i'm obsessed with them so today real quick picking up another one i know yeah i'm picking up another one i've, I've gotten so many right now but right now we are at fedex see we got fedex right there super cool i have another snake i'm picking up right now a snake that i bought weeks ago that john rice has been holding on for me and feeding and making sure that he's super nice and healthy before he sends him over today is finally the day where i get little kevin i know gianna already named him kevin don't ask every single hognose snake that i have now is named so today we're gonna first open up this new one and then we're gonna go back to the house i'm gonna show you all of the hognose snakes Every morph that I have, the ages, the sexes, the names, they're all named. Super cool. Let's do it. Hognose video. What's up? All right. So, like I said, this one came from John Rice. Fathom Hogs. Pumped. So let's see what we got this bad boy right now Ooh, he's so tiny check this dude out right here i don't want to take him out of here just yet we'll take him out when we get home but he is a bad bad little boy so this is a super arctic albino anaconda male okay wow okay we're back over at the house so we're giving a little bit of water here this is the setup we got going on so this little guy is a triple a arctic albino anaconda male het permafrost now the whole main reason why i got this little het permafrost guy is because i'm going to be breeding him one day with my female permafrost that i have in here all right so check this out this is olaf olaf is a 2021 albino arctic anaconda she is beautiful i got this from my buddy albert albert thank you very much i love her she is absolutely great and such a beautiful little snake so the whole goal is she's a 2021 this little guy is a 2022 so by the time they're both of size it'll be maybe like two years from now it'll be great look how tiny this little man is oh you're so cute all right let's carefully Put you here and then she go new home little kevin all right so we're gonna quickly go down the line of what we got so first up we got a male green line anaconda 33 percent het albino 2020 this little guy this is actually a lot of uh there's nothing real special about this guy he's pretty average um a lot of people like his coloration and stuff he's a green line anaconda he's very cool um not really a high dollar snake but people love him don't mind all this this is all messy we got to uh, clean everybody here today next up is dragon dragon is an extreme red albino conda look at him he is such a handsome little devil awesome hello sir are you gonna get all huffy puffy for me oh, okay down the line mater mater how you doing Mater is one of my favorites. So Mater is a super anaconda albino. Look at that. He's so funny. Dude, I love these little hissy snakes. They are so cute and funny, full of personality and attitude. 
but what a handsome little man. Next up on our list, we got a female reverse striped twin spot 2021 Shaniqua. Hi, sweet girl. She's very cute too. Oh, I love how hissy all you babies are. Oh, I know. Hello, sweetheart. You are so cute. Little Shaniqua. Next up on our list, we got a male toffee glow conda named Maverick. I know everything is filthy today. This is little Mav. Very cool. So he's a male toffee glow, and I have a big female for him as well. A female actually might be gravid. Next up on our list of crazy people is Doc, the super yeti. He's a little he's a little brat. Watch, he's probably gonna bite me. No, oh, are you gonna bite me today? No, oh, you're not. Okay. But this is the one that we brought to the hospital. That's why we named him Doc. He's very cool. All white, super yeti. Very, very awesome animal. Next up is our female purple wine snow super conda. Now this is a snake I got from, this came from Fire Exotic Hogs, Eslin over there, Slinky. Dude, thank you so much. I love her. Look how big she's getting too. Now she was the size of Doc maybe just a month ago. And she is growing super fast. Don't bite my thumb. Thank you. Nighthawk. Oh yeah, another super exantic. Look at this little man. He is very cool. Yeah, you got some flies in here. I need to clean out all these freaking tubs. All right, so this girl right here is one of my favorites. She is a solar flare, which is an albino sable anaconda. And she is so, so pretty. Look at that, like creamsicle. Oh gosh, she is such a pretty snake. Take her out so you guys can see her just a little bit better. Look at how awesome this little girl is. She is so freaking cool. And then we have Pinky. Hello, Pinky. Pinky is a super arctic albino anaconda that is het sunburst. He has some very powerful genes and is gonna make some really cool looking babies one day. Oh, sunflower. So this is an extreme red albino anaconda that is het snow. So this is het albino, <laughs> het albino and exanthic. And dude, she is a little turd. She just wants to bite. Ay! Hey man, that's not fun. Dude, she is such a biter. Oh, it's so tingly. I can feel your little venom running through my veins. Excuse me, get off. Yeesh. Oh, she got me good. Oh, the venom. Oh, I'm feeling weird. Ah! Oh man, now you gotta make sure every time you get bit by a hognose snake, you gotta you gotta suck the venom out so you don't die. Next up, Toffee Super Conda Het Exanthic Albino 321 Duchess. Actually, this is 322. I don't know why that says 21 on there because that is not true. So look at this sweet little lady. So this is a super anaconda. So you can see she doesn't really have any spots. She's got minimal spots by her head, but that is it. All right, so then now in all of these bigger racks right here, we have all the older females. So this is Penny. Penny, I also, Penny I also got from Extreme Fire Hogs from Eslin, and she is beautiful. She is a snow conda. So you can see she's like white and then she has all this pink on her. She's a very, very beautiful little girl. Hey, sweetheart. Next up, we have another super Arctic albino, Het Sable, and her name is Broomhilda. Hello, Broomhilda. So, Broomhilda, she's a little bit more on the spicy side, but look at how beautiful this animal is. Whew. Absolute stunner. She is so freaking pretty. And then up next, we have Jessica, our purple line extreme red twin spot tiger. This one I got from Urban Dinos. She is very, very pretty. Almost has a lot of purple on that belly. She's got the conda spots. She's got that reverse stripe going down her. So normally they're striped. She's got like a lack of a stripe. Very, very cool. She's a little bit bitey. I'm surprised she hasn't bit me yet, but she tries to all the time. 
And in the back left corner, we have Gwen, another Arctic Albino Anaconda, Triple A. She is also very, very cool. Hello, sweet lady. You are awesome. These Arctic Albino Anacondas are honestly one of my favorites. That and the sunburst. The sunburst and the solar flares. Dude, these guys are just so cool. And she's going to continue to look different as she matures. Oh, and then one of my favorites, Django, the Blackback Super Arctic Anaconda. So this guy is actually one of my favorites and my girlfriend's favorite. This little man is Django. So Django is a Blackback Arctic Anaconda. Actually, no, he's not an anaconda, but he still has these spots on him. And he's got this really dark back which is really cool. You don't really see these too often. He's a little bit rare with that black, completely black belly. He's very, very cool. Now, the reason why we call him Django is because uh, we were actually watching Django when we were unboxing him. And uh, that is what we were uh, watching when we were having our baby too. So yeah, anyways, this is this guy. He's got a little sentimental value to us. I love him. He's gonna, he actually does not have a girlfriend. I'm looking for, a super arctic girlfriend for him but he's a 2020 and i don't want to buy him a super young one so if anybody out there has any super arctics regular arctic super conda arctic anything like that that is close of age and size to him don't bite me um let me know next up is martin he is a male snow conda that i got from rostral reptiles here in south florida very very handsome man so he's a snow conda so pretty much all white and then he's got these spots on him still has a cute little face hello sir and then his girlfriend is this toffee glow conda named goose now i got goose from urban dinos also let's see where she is at okay so she is actually in her nest box Okay, so this is the female right here. So she's in a nest box right now. Obviously there's no eggs in there yet, but she was just paired up with Martin, the snow conda. So even though it's not snow to snow, they are still both sexually mature. So I just linked them up together, trying to just at least get some eggs from something this year, to, just to give everything a little kickstart and just to uh, just get back into the whole incubating and breeding and hatching, just to get me back into that. So, Cause it's been a while since I've bred anything and had anything hatch here. Oh, next up on our list is Gemma. Gemma, hello, look at this stunner right here. So she is a high, she's an extreme red anaconda high red and she also has that super light beautiful belly on her but look at how precious this is just an absolute stunner what a beautiful beautiful animal there's two more and then we're done so this is the eastern that I got. I'm not going to mess with her too much because she is very, very delicate and still getting used to everything. We're gonna do a video just on her alone because she has a very special diet, special care. She's a lot harder to take care of than the Westerns. And then the last on our list is this little jerk right here. This is a Madagascar giant hognose who also is going to get his own episode also, because he is very, very cool. Now, this is the largest of them. Like, this is a baby, and look how big he is. They get pretty big, and I'm super stoked on him. I'm also looking for a female for him. Um, he's, he's a juvenile, but it'll be a couple years before he's able to breed. I just really like these hognose snakes, and I wanted to have all these localities, and just having a huge one, a giant, you know? They're, they're really cool. The Madagascar giants are really awesome localities. They have great coloration and pattern on them. Just a very cool looking specimen. That is it though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My hand is, dude, it's, it's super bloody. I keep bending pretty good, and honestly, I can feel it like you can feel their venom a little bit it's tingly it like stings like it's definitely stinging um when I first got a couple of them one of them actually bit me pretty good and I let him chew on me for 
about a minute just because I wanted to see what the venom would do, you know what I mean? And it was just very tingly. It got a tiny, tiny little bit swollen, but the swelling went down pretty fast and it wasn't that big of a deal at all. So, but I just wanted to see what it was like. I gotta go to work though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We got some new videos coming out. We're trying to pump things out. I've been really, really, really busy at the shop. I'm tattooing pretty much every day right now. So my schedule is really crazy right now. I wake up 7.30 in the morning, I come in here, I take care of all the animals, I film a video, I go to the shop, I have to draw for my appointment, I tattoo all day long, I come home, edit all night, so I could post a video for you guys almost every day, every other day. It is literally a 7.30 in the morning to 11 p.m., even midnight sometimes. Like they are super full long days that I'm pulling right now. It'll all pay off soon. Hard work pays off. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm working my ass off until my daughter is out and then we can relax a little bit and have a little, en enjoy our baby for the first few months that she's alive. And uh, it's gonna be great. I'm super excited about it. So in the meantime, guys, my merch site is down, tylernolantattoos.com. Please don't go on it and try to order anything because you really can't right now. Go on Teespring. Below this video, there's a bunch of little links for the Teespring. You can still order stuff off Teespring. Um, if you have any problems with Teespring, please send me an email and we will get it resolved as fast as possible. I'm trying to accommodate everybody. I'm a one-man band over here. Okay, I need. Some, with that said, I need some help. If you live in Boca, in Deerfield, you live close to me, please reach out to me. Send me an email. I need some help filming over here. Alex has a lot going on right now. He's doing his own thing now, so he's... He's, he's going to be out of the picture, not out of the picture soon, but he's just going to not really be doing a whole lot with the whole YouTube thing. He's, he's doing something else. So I really need someone to be focused on that with me because that is it's what I do for a living. So um, please, you film, you edit in the area, please in the area. If you do not live in the area, please don't hit me up. I don't have a lot of whole, I don't have a whole lot of free time. So don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Yeah. Um, until next time, guys. Appreciate every single one of you. Follow your dreams. Follow you guys. But they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eatin' plenty, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet to sign a major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is empty. Mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Which my heart is icy. Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen like hella cloudy or the poison ivy. With my mother strong with a coast sign me. I don't even like me. No, I'm staring the mirror in different rooms. This nigga. Shy, but timid, the riddles were